So we're going to talk about when you receive your hotshot infrared heater, you'll notice that the bulb is actually packed separate from the unit. And that's going to be done for safety reasons so that your bulb arrives intact and ready to go. You're going to need to take the bulb out of this package and insert it or install it into the unit. It's actually a very simple thing to do. In this case, you'll notice that the unit is already installed, so this video will also apply to those who need to replace their IR bulb. To start, we're simply going to undo the screws. These two metal shrouds come off first. Four simple screws Phillips head come off very easily. And then before the shrouds can actually come out, you'll notice we have to take off this grid. All right, this protective grid is for your safety and it's very simple. You lift up first, push down second, so they pop out of these two holes, and then you can slide this way. And then over here, you'll notice we just simply slide it out of the slots, set it down, and the two protective shrouds can come out very simply. Okay? Now, this isn't like a halogen bulb on your vehicle. You can actually touch this with your hand. It's okay. And what you're going to do is just slide this out, as you'll notice. There's a little pocket here where this uh, bulb fits into. It's very simple. It just slides in and out. And we're going to pull it out, and we're going to pull it out long enough to get a hold of this electrical connector. Simply unscrew the electrical connector and remove. Now we're going to go to the other side, find the electrical connector. We're going to unscrew. We're going to remove. And now we've removed the bulb. And we're basically going to do those steps in reverse to install. If this were a new bulb, we would take it out of the package. We would start to set it into place. In this case, you'll notice that the wires are on one side of the unit. It's simpler if you insert that, the bulb so that the wires are sticking out. From there, we just grab the two wire connectors together. Using our screw on tab, you're just going to screw on, making sure that it's screwed on very tightly and that you get a good connection between the two wires. And you're going to push it right back in. We're going to then come over to the other side and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to just add two wires together very simply using the screw in connector. We're going to connect it and it's installed. Now push this into place. Now, in reverse motion, just like when we did the removal, we put the two shrouds into place. Using the same screws that came out to put back in. Do the same on the bottom one. Place the shroud into place on this side as well. Add the two screws, just like we did in the removal process. And then last.
last but not least, you're going to insert one side of the, of the grill. Come back over to the other side, insert it into place. And then last but not least, you can push down, find the hole, I'm not actually looking, and then lift up, and as you can see the gap here, put it right into that hole there. It centers itself pretty much by itself, and it's ready to go. Flip the switch, turn it on, everything's done. And that's how you replace or install an IR heater bulb.